Hello and welcome to Iron Point Tech. We're gonna be showing you in this video how to connect your Xbox One controller to your PC. Now there's a few different ways that people can do this through dongles, through you know purchasing through Microsoft, um, connecting it through USB ports, but for this tutorial, we're gonna be showing you how to connect it through Bluetooth uh, so you don't have to worry about any cables. Now, the first step in this process is gonna be going to your start window and opening up your settings. So here in your settings, you're gonna to need to go over to your devices section. So similar to most Bluetooth devices, this is where you're gonna be connecting the controller. And you wanna make sure that Bluetooth is enabled and now this next part, we're gonna to go to the controller. So your controller has a couple different buttons. You know the Xbox button that turns it on, but then there's this button on top which enables it to be found by devices for pairing, for Bluetooth purposes. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this button to turn on the controller. So you can see it's flashing. It hasn't found a specific device to pair it to. So we're gonna hold this button up here, which is gonna start blinking. So when you see the Xbox symbol start blinking, that means the controller is ready to be found. Now that the Xbox controller is ready to be paired, we're gonna go to add a Bluetooth device. So here we have the Bluetooth button here, we're gonna click, and then you see it immediately showed up as Xbox wireless controller. Because I've paired this controller to this computer before, it's showing up as a known input. Sometimes you may just have it show up saying controller input or it may just say input input, but you'll see this controller symbol. Uh, if you see that, it's most likely this device you're trying to pair it to. So go ahead and click that to connect. There we go, now that we are paired, we can see that the device is being currently set up. Down, drivers are being downloaded so the device can work for this con computer. And then now you see that it's showing up here as controller, as an Xbox wireless controller. So now we're good to play any games we want that are controller enabled. It's as simple as that. Thank you for tuning in. If you would be so kind, if you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe. Click on this nice circle in this corner here and go ahead and mash that subscribe button. Thank you and uh, hope to see you on the sticks.